Hey, this is Captain Noob, and this is the Chiapa Triple Threat. This is a highly customizable standalone triple barrel shotgun, complete with animation, so it's going to be a nice high quality package for quite the basic weapon. Anyways, getting into these attachments, first of all, we've got the receivers. They follow the same thing as the standard vanilla double barrel. We'll chuck that up to advance for the best DPS. And of course, for the barrels, we can chuck that to a long barrel there, although it's worth mentioning that the... Uh, Whilst you get better range out of the long barrel, you can actually increase your critical hit damage with the sawn off barrel, which is interesting. We might have another one in our inventory to test that out. So we'll go for a long barrel there for better range and accuracy. Generally, that's like how that's how I like to run shotguns, squeezing as much damage, I mean range and accuracy out of them. Now for the stocks, we can chuck on a full stock that'll help us control the recoil there a little bit. Hopefully it won't be kicking like a mule. And for the sights, we've got standards, glowies, and a reflex sight to preserve the look of this weapon. I'll just chuck the glowies on it, no problem there. And you get a choice between two muzzle brakes and a suppressor in the muzzle slot. Um, only heathens put uh, suppressors on their shotguns, so you definitely won't see any of my shotguns with those things, we'll move on. So you get a legendary effect if you need it, but it doesn't stop there because you can actually change the color of this thing somehow, so you can make it look zebra colored there, which is absolutely awful. We'll go for a nice camo here that would suit Rain, maybe a party starter, I guess Raiders like to party, right? And the fun doesn't stop there, there's actually one more modification, this is more of a projectile overriding thing. You can make this thing fire the normal shells, which it is. The slug will make this thing fire one heavy projectile. It isn't hit scan, so it's nice and satisfying, although it'll take more of your aiming skill to hit people. The incendiary one adds a bunch of energy damage of the fire variety, and of course some damage over time if this is right. And of course, the explosive effect. I don't really need to explain that one for shotguns. That's not going to be good anyway. So first of all, we'll have our incendiary one. Why not? We'll grab a bunch of these and we'll head to Gunners Plaza. Okay, here we are back in Immersive Laggers Plaza. We'll seek to kill all of these gunners in a very short succession. I guess that's our first victim over there. So why not? Um, just sneak up to her of, with the best of our ability and give her a big old surprise with this thing. So, so far so good. She hasn't seen us yet. Okay, there's, that's where she is with the third person cam there. We'll just jump up on this desk. She won't notice. Also, there's dirt there that's floating for some reason. And we'll go for a little bit of... Yep, that kid was her in one shot. Very good. Who would, have, who would have thought that would happen? Also, there's the reload animation that I was talking about. It's a pretty good one. So we'll just follow it up, going into the person who's usually on the computers in here. And we get him in three shots because of bad aim. And also, the frame rate just conked out for a second there. Yeah, I don't think this um, immersive Gunner's Plaza interior is going to stick around for much longer. I've had too many frame rate issues for it. It's bad enough already with the vanilla Gunner's Plaza. We'll go ahead and take out that turret and pop a really unnecessary reload, but we'll finish off that turret now. And now that those things are down, we'll be able to get nice and close to these guys. Oh, you've got one too. Interesting. And he's using the same rounds as us, which is um, also kind of scary. But we can out-damage him because we've got a better aim than him, and that's not really saying much. For that AI is not the smartest stuff. Okay, so there's Captain Bridget right there, and we've got a sawn off lucky one, so we'll see how much damage we can do with the crit there. Not all that much. We'll try again. And another crit. Ah, yes, much better. I'd imagine that some of the um, projectiles were blocked by that stupid um, camera there because that's like a sponge for all of your projectiles. We can just sit, sit on that grenade. That's going to be fine. We're tanky as hell. And we'll finish off uh, the sawn off one just for killing that person. Why not? All right, so we'll move over to our slug one now, and um, judging by the um, spread of the little reticule there on the screen, this thing is going to be a little bit inaccurate, so we'll have to get nice and close. Oh, okay, he's not being drowned in uh, picture frames today. He's being drowned in what I believe is just bins, so that's interesting. Now, unfortunately, the slugs there aren't doing quite as good damage there, so yeah, it doesn't look like the slugs are going to be too viable, but we'll we'll go ahead and try to get off, kill these guys from a distance. Nope. Nope. And no. Alright, we'll try that again. No. There we go. There's a hit. Nope. And um, I did say that these things weren't hit scan, but yeah, they are. Just disregard that comment on them. These things are completely hit scan, but the way they make you feel like you're firing shotgun slugs is they just make it super inaccurate. See, that guy's not even hitting me. He's hitting all of the tables and stuff in front of me. I bet I can hide behind here. And he'd be able, he'd barely be able to hit me. Okay, we got him eventually. 
Okay, we'll switch back over to our incendiary one. And we'll make this gunner a very cooked gunner. There we go. Hmm, Captain seemed to be able to tank this pretty well, but not with a little bit of um nice on a nice little uh, ricochet on our side there. All right, we'll quickly finish off this gunner like that, or slowly finish off this gunner because it's going to take a bit more than that to actually kill this person. Ah, uh, yes, legendary gunners, the tankiest of the bunch. They're not fun to fight, and they'll go down after a whole lot of shooting. Since we're at a little bit of range here, we'll whip out our slug one again. Oh, wait, the turrets. Dead. Never mind the turret. Now, making the slugs hit in bats is not viable either because this thing, even though it's firing slugs, which um, should increase the range substantially, it doesn't. It suffers from the same damage fall off as the whole buckshot thing, so I'd get about the same damage as I was firing that across the room, which, um, yes, the slugs don't appear to be all that useful. So we'll quickly run up to this bloke here and give him the old um, one, two, three, I guess. And ha, huh, he's tanking that quite well, and we're almost in nerd rage, so I think what I want to do now is just stick to the good old sawn off one and just vats people like that. Although, since we are going into nerd rage here, we might as well make some good use out of that. Wait till we have our shotgun shells back and just give you a crit to the torso, why not? Whilst they should explode in real life whilst be, sh whilst be shotting, uh, being shot at that place with a um, shotgun. Yeah. I've got gore turned off, so none of that stuff is going to happen. Also, that was a pathetic critical hit for a shotgun there. I'm not even sure what happened. How do you even explain that? Okay, that's a little bit better. I think we have to go really, we have to go nose to nose with them to get this thing to actually output satisfying damage, which is a shame. I mean, this thing in itself is pretty high quality. It's a high quality weapon, I'll give it that, but due to its, um, triple barrel nature, and slow reload, it's not going to be viable for combat there. Although, no, we died. We're going to have to change our tactics. Okay, I'm going to try to run this thing exclusively in VATS and see if the VATS defense can stop us from getting shot and damaged all over. So, yeah, we'll go for a crit there. Nice, kills you instantly. Very good, we'll move on to the next bloke. It's only a conscript, so we could probably finish him off with the two remaining shots that we have. Now, if you are playing this game not on very hard like I am playing right now and taking on lower level enemies, you'll definitely find this thing to be more useful. But for me, taking on these high level gunners, yeah, this thing, I really don't want to use this thing right now. I'd rather just drop this thing and uh, go punch people. Nah, no, just kidding. This uh, this thing um, does a little bit more damage than your fists. Only a little bit, though. Okay, so we'll go for another crit on this lieutenant. And there we go. Knocks him right away. And now there's Captain Bridget there. She's the heavy hitter, so we want to get rid of her as soon as possible. Good thing she goes for the gun bash at that range, because um, I'd rather get bashed by a gun than getting some of that DPS that's on it. Also, I'm going to grab that pistol off you just so you can't grab it. I saw you eyeing that off. And now your eyes are non-existent because I would have blown your head off if Gore was off. On. Sorry. Alright. So now we've got one. Another one there. She gets a nice look down the barrel before I let her rip. And, um, yeah. This seems to be working a whole lot better now that we're using this exclusively. And that's this person is getting drowned in dancing trash cans this time, so good for you. I guess you're the real life of the party. And now we can move on there. No need to stick around for that. We'll pop a reload off when we when we get around the corner. But you know what? Let's test this thing out with um, the slugs at point blank range and bats. Let's see how we go here. Okay, so not getting great damage there. I think we're better off using this thing with the sawn off with the lucky effect. We'll definitely keep using that. The slugs seem to be just terrible all round. Okay, so that's a legendary gunner. We've got a crit for her, and hopefully it'll kill her in one. Ooh, it actually did. Okay, I think I've found out how you're supposed to use this thing. Just crit spam the crap out of this thing and bats, and you'll be fine, even against high-level gunners. You can still do pretty good with that. Also, how is your leg crippled? I shot you in the bloody face. Down you go. Okay, so now we can take out the rest of them, but you know what? I brought in a secret weapon. Remember how I said that I wouldn't put a suppressor on a shotgun? Well, I lied. All right, we've got the explosive one now. Let's just get stuck into these gunners and kill them nice and quickly. Uh, maybe? Can I get into Vats game? Yes, I can. Okay, let's see how we do here. Wow, this is a 
This is a pathetic explosive shotgun. I i don't think I've ever seen an, an explosive shotgun fire this bad. Um, let's just, let's just ch check out the attachments on this one for a second. Okay, so I've got the expl- Oh, it might be an explosive shell. Is that what's going on? Because when I fired this thing with a suppressor with the explosive, there was no explosion, so I actually had to attach the explosive effect onto it like that. So maybe the explosive um, shells aren't compatible with the suppressor, so I guess it's a, I've just played myself. It's a big old Aussie stitch up, apparently. Okay, so we'll just have to try and survive whilst taking on these gunners. Yep, that's not even worth using. Ah, uh, yes, that's an easy kill there with uh, the mysterious stranger. So I'm actually happy for that dude to show up once in a while. And we'll finish off this one with whatever. There we go. We're getting multiple explosive damages per shot. Maybe it's just not firing them far enough apart from each other to actually have an effect there. Also, time for nerd rage. Yes, it is. Rain is a very angry chick. And we missed somehow. I, I don't know how we missed, but we did. There we go, some hits finally. I might have to pop a stim pack in a second because this thing isn't... Hang on, Rain's a, Rain's a raider. She's a chem addict. Okay, now we've got Psycho on our side. Hopefully that'll give us the edge we need. Also, we took some buff out for a little bit of um, health with that extra endurance, which is going to be useful. We slip over 20% um, health again, so getting down to that again. We get another shot at Nerd Rage here. Okay, I'm not even hitting them at this point. This is fucking ridiculous. Okay, you know what? Since you're coming up for a bash, hopefully we can get a collat. We can't, but we can quickly finish them off with our follow-up shots, or at least one of them. Okay, this is getting a little bit dire at this point. I don't want to pop a stim pack because that's not what I like to do, but I think I might have to. Okay, we'll go over just to a little bit of that. Might as well finish you off like that and peek around the corner and shoot you there. You're only low health and we got a little bit lucky there with Ricochet. Very good. And now, I've got a crit for you. I think most of our shots were obscured by the uh, thing, but I'm going to have to fall back now. I'm going to have to resort to guerrilla tactics here in Gunners Plaza, which is great. Uh, ooh, you've got an explosive one. Okay, all right. Well, we'll test out our theory of this thing being explosive and only shooting the one. All right, let's see how this goes. Wait for it. Oh, wait, we're slipping out of detection, apparently. Okay. I guess we get a little bit of a breather, a nice time to pop a stim back, but you know what, we won't, we'll try to push through this, there's only a few left. Uh, where are you? Come on, bring it on, bring it on. There's one, we've probably been detected again at this point. According to this, we can one-shot this Brigadier. Um, that's a lie, obviously. Even with a crit, we're not getting as much damage, so it definitely looks like it's that one projectile that we're getting with the explosive effect, which explains its lameness. Also, there's someone behind me. I should probably get away from that person. How did you even get behind me? Oh, I'm dead again. Okay, I've just gone back to a workbench. Hopefully this thing's going to be an actual real explosive shotgun now, would it? Ah, uh, yes, that's how you have an explosive shotgun. Okay, so we've just got the same one as we had before with the incendiary ones. We've just chucked the explosive legendary effect on this. And now it's gone from being ludicrously bad to um, ludicrously overpowered. So um, there's no real in-between when it comes to shotguns. They're either, just, uh, they're either really bad or really friggin' good. So, yeah, yeah, you know what, we'll just keep on blasting through these gunners fine. You can actually see that there's actually um, incendiary points of damage on them. Or at least they have got that uh, burning effect when you shoot them. Oh dear, all of these picture frames are back. Just, just step out of there for a second so I can shoot you. There we go. So now we're finally seeing some uh, good damage out of this thing. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Yeah, but um, you're going to need the explosive effect on it to actually do anything. If you didn't want this thing to be grossly overpowered and you still wanted it to do a fair amount of damage, then chuck on the wounding effect, although that effect is a little bit slow to come on. If you want a quick solution to lots of gunner threats, then yes, chucking on the... <laughs> that one's got a broom and sweep him. I'm, I'm going to crit him across the room just for that. Have a big old surprise. Hopefully this will be able to kill him. Not quite. 
But since they're all sort of gathered around there, we'll just take that that opportunity to kill them there. Oh no, they're hot, are we? Oh, we're hot, according to Gunners. I bet I can just stand here and finish off the video there. This is how overpowered this thing is. I don't even have my finger on the reload, but I'm just going to let Rain do that for herself, because fine. Okay, this is too much. I can't find a good middle ground with shotguns if they're if they're sort of slow firing, got a low mag capacity and a long reload. Generally, the shotguns are not that great, especially when you're playing on very hard when you do get a big old damage penalty. But yeah, um, if you want to use this thing in such modes, then you're probably better off getting a combat shotgun and using that instead. But yeah. Um, using these against low tier enemies is probably the way you want to go to actually make good use out of this thing and uh, maybe if you're facing high tier enemies uh, strip that damage I mean that difficulty a little bit down and then you'll have a good old time with this but you know what I think I've had about enough of this particular shotgun so if you'd like to see this thing in your game be sure to check out the description I personally don't recommend it although it is a high quality mod with meshes textures and animations there so merit can be said about that but its performance is bad granted I could probably change that through the use of the creation kit but generally I'm not to attach this type of weapon in general so um yeah nothing much to say about that thank you very much for watching I'll have the rain companion in the description too why not